This question belongs to programming subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2015. So the question states, consider the following pseudocode where x and y are positive integers. So the code looks like this. We have begin and end with value of q assigned to 0, value of r assigned to x. Now we are running this condition y r is greater than equal to 1. And here we are decrementing the value of r by y and incrementing q by 1. The post condition that needs to be satisfied after the program terminates is. So at this point we need to tell which of the conditions need to be satisfied for this. See what happens. Initially q is 0 and r is x. So we run this loop till r is greater than y. And when the loop terminates, so at the termination condition, what is the termination condition? Loop terminates when r becomes less than y because when r becomes less than y, we come out this of this y loop. Okay, we come out of this while loop when r becomes less than y. How many times will it run? See, we are decrementing r by y each time. Which means if r is 10 and we are decrementing it by 3 each time, then it will run r by y times. See, r by y times. But the value of r is initially x, which means it will run x by y, y times. So loop runs x by y times. And each time we are incrementing q. So the final q value, final q value will be x by y. Okay. Now see, what will be r? See, suppose for this condition we are decrementing it by 3 each time. So initially it will be 10. Then it will become, and suppose uh, y is uh, 2. Which is suppose y is 2. So what happens? Initially x is r is 10. Okay, x is 10 x is 10 so r becomes 10 and y is 2 let us suppose y is 3 y is 3 then we are decrementing it by 3 each time so first r is 10 then it becomes 7 then it becomes 4 then when it becomes 1 we terminate the loop okay what is this 1 how can we find out this 1 this 1 can be easily found out by 10 mod 3, 10 mod 3 or we can say x mod y. So the value of r, final r value will be final r equals to x mod y will be the final r. Now we have to tell, see, now this condition, we have to tell what is the final r value. So what is r? Initially it is r equals to qx plus y. Let us see, r equals to what is q? Q we have incremented here by 10 by 3 times, which means 3 times. So Q, X, no, it's increasing the value. No, it's false. X equals to QY plus R. So X is our 10. Q is 3. Y is 3. 3 into 3, 9. And R is 1. So this is satisfying. Why is it satisfying? It is satisfying because our initial X value, what will be equal to? Q is the number of iterations. So it is equal to number of iterations into what value are we decrementing? So we are decrementing y value. So to find our initial value, we are if we are decrementing something some number of times, then we can multiply it and we have some remainder. Remainder was in R. So this will give us our initial value x. So correct answer is x equals to qy plus r. It's nothing but it is a quotient, dividend, divisor, and remainder. It's nothing but that only. So answer is option B.